This video shows how to use NetBeans for Java servlets or JSP programming. Let's open NetBeans, create a new project. The category will be Java Web, and project type is Web Application. And then name of the project you can choose. Uh, let me give demo JSP, for example and then choose all those default values uh. and then framework so we don't choose anything yet but as we study a Java server faces uh, of course we are going to choose this one but uh, prior to Java server faces uh, uh, we don't choose any framework uh, by default uh, uh, these structures are created uh, for the project uh, and then index.html is created for you at the very beginning and then this is uh, uh, the you know, first page when you run this uh, uh, project uh, let me show you that as I run this project uh, and then a uh, web browser uh, connects to uh, the index.html so uh, whatever from index.html is displayed here so to create Java servlets, uh, the Java servlets uh, should be placed in uh, source packages. Uh. In some part, uh, uh, Java servlets uh, should be in a Java package. Uh, not every place though, but certain applications are required. So uh, anyway, let's create a Java package so that we can put uh, servlets there so package name is chapter one for example and inside the package we create a, a java servlet if a java servlet does not show up here you see this is a frequently used one you can go other and uh, see all the list uh, so category web and then servlet this is uh, how to create a java servlet next give a name of the servlet my first servlet next and then here uh, you can choose all those default values but take a look at the URL pattern it says uh, uh, same as the class name servlet name is going to be the URL pattern which means from the web browser as you type this URL pattern the servlet will be launched finish and then uh, NetBeans creates the servlet template for you. And so those uh, comments, uh, let me clean up. And over here, uh, annotation says that the uh, name of the servlet is my first servlet. By default, it's the same as class name. And then the URL pattern to have access to this servlet is the uh, same as the class name by default. Uh. And then in the servlet will be launched uh, as you type the URL pattern but the starting point of execution if I clean up those comments uh, will be either to get method or to post method so either one of the two will be called uh, when the servlet is launched uh, uh, remember Java application uh, the main method is the starting point of execution but the servlet either do get or do post uh, depending on how you call we, can, uh, we are going to learn it later though but in uh, NetBeans uh, as you can see either do get or do post calls intron process request so it does not matter, where, uh, ma matter or which one is called uh, so either way process request will be called in process request uh, this is uh, in response to the URL pattern what happens is that uh, something will be returned back to the web browser so here uh, uh, NetBeans uh, creates a template for you uh, what it does is that the out object uh, here represents uh, the object uh, which will send all the information back to the client which connected to the servlet and out.println 
is the method to send the text information. So this is similar to system.out.println, which prints on the console display. But out.println here displays the info on the client web browser. So what you need to do is a web browser, since web browser is uh, displaying HTML data, so you need to construct a full HTML data so that the client can display. So here within the body, let's put something within the body, let's say in uh, h1 tagger, hello world. Uh, the finish it h1 tag so here what i constructed is that uh, in uh, uh, html in the body i simply say hello world uh, in largest font that's what i did so to run this one you would use this url pattern so you should be a http and then host name and then my first servlet. But the NetBeans emulates the entire process for you automatically. So right click and run file. Simply runs uh, the servlet on a uh, web browser. So host name is localhost, means the same computer. And then the web server, which is a class of fish inside the NetBeans, runs on port 8080. And then context path is a project name. And then the servlet name, which is URL pattern. So a URL pattern given here is used there. So which means uh, from the web browser, as you type this URL pattern, the servlet will be launched. So let me show you this way. So here in a new web browser, as you type HTTP and those information, the servlet I just created will run. So that's a servlet part. Huh? And then JSP should be placed within web pages. So here, source package, you put servlets web pages uh, you put JSP so again other is a uh, web JSP is a uh, how to create a JSP so let's let's name it my first JSP choose all those default value now this is a uh, uh, JSP template created for you the, by default those messages will be printed but in JSP, you can now add uh, some Java code uh, with uh, this tag. Uh, angle bracket percentage closed by per percentage angle bracket within the tag. Uh, now you can put Java program. And then uh, remember that out object uh, is to send information back to the client. Uh, println. Hello world from JSP. You could do this uh, in H1 tag. Uh, like that. So right to click run file. Now see the URL pattern. URL pattern is a <clears throat> project name and then JSP file name. It's the, a little bit different from servlet. Then the JSP is launched uh, and it's uh, working like this. <clears throat> so in JSP is a superset of HTML. So anything you get uh, as a HTML, you can also put in uh, uh, JSP as well, but not inside of those special JSP tags. So such as a tag is available in HTML, then you can use a in uh, JSP as well. So here is a uh, my first uh, servlet is how to launch the servlet we just created. Uh,
So this is a URL pattern, my first servlet. So this servlet URL pattern is my first servlet. So as you give uh, href uh, the URL pattern one, then as you click, the servlet will be launched. So let's say in the servlet, hello world uh, from servlet. Uh, let me change that way. So this JSP, let's run it. Then we have a link. So as I click this link, servlet is launched. You can see the URL changes. So this demonstrates the very basic of how to use NetBeans for servlet and the JSP.